Asset Tracking Employee Navigator makes it easy for companies to control, track, and manage company assets like laptops, cell phones, office keys, and more. Let's check it out. From the HR dashboard, click Settings, then Assets. Users have the ability to define custom asset categories and then create the individual company assets called inventory. A category is a large bucket to put individual assets into. An example of a category is laptops. Once the laptop category is added, you can add individual assets and assign them to employees. You're able to distinguish assets from each other by adding in details like model, serial number, or descriptions. Let's go ahead and add a category. To view and add categories, click Categories. This company already has some categories set up, but we're going to add another. To add a new category, click Add Category, then add the category name. Check the multiple assignment box if the category can be assigned to multiple employees. An example of a multiple assignment category is a bathroom key, which does not have a unique identifier and can be assigned to multiple employees at once. If this box is not checked, the asset will be considered a single assigned asset. This means that the asset in this category can only be assigned to one employee at a time. Now that we have created our new category, let's add it to our inventory. Go back to the inventory and click Add Asset. Select a category, then add in the model, date acquired, which is the date your company acquired the asset, serial number, cost, and description. Model and date acquired are both required fields. The others are not. To assign an asset to an employee, click on the Actions icon, Assign, then search for the employee you're assigning the asset to. Add in the assignment date, then click Done. You can manage an individual employee's assets by searching for the employee in the upper right of the screen. From the Employee's Asset page, you can view, assign, or return assets. Back on the Inventory tab, you can see all of the assets in the company and who each asset is assigned to. Assets are ordered alphabetically by category. Click into the model to see the asset details like cost, description, or serial number. You can filter the inventory page by category, and by status. Assets that have the status of active will appear when setting the filter to active. The assigned filter will display any asset that has employees assigned to it, regardless of whether it is single or multi-assignable. The available filter will show all multi-assignable assets and single assignable assets that are not currently assigned and have an active status. Finally, the retired filter will display any asset that has the status of retired. If you need to export a list of all company assets, just click Excel on the top right of your screen. This Excel sheet 
will pull all of the information that has been added into the system about an asset. Now let's look at how to return an asset. Returning an asset. There are three ways to return an asset that is currently assigned to an employee. You can click on the Actions icon, Return, Return Asset, then add in the return date and reason. When returning an asset, you are presented with four return reasons. If the return reason is broken, end of life, or lost, the status of the asset will be changed to retired. If the asset is returned with the reason return to inventory, the asset will remain active and can be reassigned to another employee. You are unable to return an asset prior to the asset assignment date and you are unable to return an asset with a future date. You are also able to return an asset by searching for an employee. All of the assets assigned to the employee will be displayed and you are able to select Return to return the desired asset. Finally, Assets can be returned as a part of the termination process. Search the employee's name from the HR dashboard. Then click Terminate Employment. Add in a termination date and term reason. And if all of their assets have been returned, click all assets returned, then click Terminate. A few things to remember. Categories need to be added prior to adding your asset inventory. An asset that has a category that is single assignment can only be assigned to one employee at a time. A multi-assigned asset can be assigned to multiple employees. If someone is terminated, be sure to process all of their assets. The employee asset assignment date cannot be before the date acquired of the asset. For more information on asset tracking, visit our support site at support.employeenavigator.com. And that's it.